Okay, Larry, I'm going to make this video just to kind of settle this uh, once and for all, just to show you that uh, um, you have everything you need, everything that's required. And uh, so I'm going to do it right here in front of you so you can watch this um, so that there is no mistaking um, what I have provided for you and the functionality of it, okay? Um, and we're going to start from the beginning. I've logged into my cPanel, okay? There's nothing special about this cPanel. I use HostGator hosting. Um, it's just like everybody else's. Um, and uh, I, I, I don't know if one thing that you're not understanding is you're the only one that hasn't got the Corvette side up. And uh, if there was something wrong, um, you know, there, everybody would have the problem. But anyway, um, this is my cPanel hosting. I'm going to go, I'm going to install the site on the subfolder. Um, so that actually I'll just go ahead and make a subdomain for it. So let me just come down here and make a subdomain for it. Name it the name I gave it. I'm going to create it. Okay, so I've created the subdomain. I'm going to go back to the cPanel home. I'm going to go ahead and install WordPress on that. You can use Quick Install, Fantastico, or whatever you choose. Click on WordPress. I'm going to install a new installation. I'm going to choose a subdomain I just um, made. I'm going to give it a generic uh, username and password because it'll be overwritten. Name the site. And I'm going to install uh, WordPress. Now, this is the, we're doing it this, this is the way we um, install the site using WP Clone. Keep that in mind. So we'll click on Finish Installation. Because that's how you are installing it, so that's how we're going to do it here. So we're going to go ahead and go to our new site, and we're going to log in. I don't want to remember that because it's going to change. Okay. Let me go ahead and get uh, WP Clone installed, which I give you. I'm just going to browse. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video right here until I get to the folder with all the files in it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the folder. Now, this is the folder that you have. You have everything in here. Okay, I'm going to go into WP Clone. I'm going to upload the plugin and go ahead and install it. I'm going to activate it. And now I'm going to go to my media library, and I'm going to click on Add New. Now I can upload this file, um, the, the uh, Corvette Tuner site, I can upload it directly to my media library because it's less than 64 megabytes. So I'm just going to upload it here. If you click on that, you'll see that it's less than 16.8 uh, megabytes. So let's upload the backup of the site. These are all the same files that you have, okay? There's, no, there's nothing tricky about them. There's nothing special about these files. Everybody has the same files. I'm going to pause a bit. No, I'll just leave it running, and uh, this is almost done anyway. It's done. We're going to grab this URL that it gave us, file URL. We're going to copy that. We're going to go to WP Clone. We're going to paste that into this box, restore from URL. We're going to check the box that we agree, restore, and then click OK. 
and let the plugin install the site for us. Okay, it has restored the site. So what you want to do is go right here where it says resave your permalink structure. So that's what we will do. Now we're going to have to log back in with the details that I've given you. have just great internet service and sixty dollars a month as soon as we get back in we're going to resave our permalinks we're just going to scroll down click on save changes okay so let's go ahead and take a look at our site Freezing up. There's our site completely installed. Okay. There's no tricks to this. There, there's nothing that I didn't give you. Um, now, what I want you to do is I'm going to give you this video and and. Uh, Go ahead and take this to host deal and, uh, and, and then tell them, you know, see what's up with that. Um, so this will just put that to rest. Um, there's no refunds, um, especially in the products that do work. Um, but there's no refunds and there's no refunds through PayPal. You just, if you open a PayPal dispute, it's just a waste of your time and it's a waste of my time. So, but you can see here that the site uh, is, you, you, you have the files you need to upload the site. And so, and you can see I just uploaded it right in front of you and there it is okay